Scottsdale residents are angry. They are tired of the city council approving high density apartment projects. They are tired of city council approving road diets. They are tired of policymakers ignoring our traffic problems. And they are tired of being lied to. Do you remember last year when we revealed that over 14,000 apartments were in the pipeline for development in Scottsdale? Well, even more high density projects have been approved since then, 1,900 more. And now there are two more mixed use projects that are pending approval. These projects are the Park and Sundown Commons, including 1,400 units plus a hotel and 250,000 square feet of commercial space. Right now, the developers for these projects are busy recruiting residents to pack the city council meeting with glowing support for these projects. And they will insist that adding over 3,000 more cars to the surrounding roads will not increase congestion. But the word is out. Unless we stop them, these two projects will be approved by four council members Tammy Caputi, Tom Durham, Solange Whitehead, and Mayor Ortega. So you might ask, didn't we elect these people to represent us, the residents, not the big developers? These four city council members are working hard to turn Scottsdale into an urban city against the wishes of the residents. They would love to turn Scottsdale into a 15-minute city, but they know the voters would never support that. So they have to build, 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 and create enough traffic congestion that people will warm up to the idea of giving up their cars. The truth is, they lied to us. They lied in their campaign promises. Let's listen to a few of the promises made by these members when they were candidates. I don't have to tell you, but in order to maintain Scottsdale's wonderful character, we need a city council majority who will be the voice for Scottsdale citizens and not their favorite developer. We must change course with a uh, lower profile uh, buildings. The infrastructure and the gridlock on our roads. The roads aren't any wider. For, uh, building apartments after apartments, that doesn't make us live or play. That makes us hot and with a lot of traffic. Because nobody wants to live in a hot desert with wall-to-wall -wall apartments. Nobody. And they lie about traffic counts so they can put roads on a diet by removing car lanes and replacing them with bike lanes. I love that word, road diet. <laughs> and I think that it's important to remember that word, road diet. I think, for me anyway, when we talked about road diets, we do a lot of lane narrowing in, this, in the city. It takes only four votes on the council, and the developers win, and the residents lose. It's time to stand up to these council members and tell them to vote no on these two high-density projects, the Park and Sundown Commons. The 2024 election is only a year away. Voters are tired of politicians who make promises on the campaign trail and then abandon them after the election. If these council members continue to approve projects that the voters do not want, they will pay dearly in the 2024 election.